got out the bath. Um, we have a, a long day. We have to do a lot of stuff. We got to cook. We have to clean. Hopefully King actually be cool and don't do a lot of crying. You gonna be cool, King? No? I guess, but we're gonna see. Actually, he's supposed to be asleep. Babe, should we put him to sleep? So King has to take a nap, so I'm going to put him to sleep, and then I'm going to clean, and yeah, guys, stay tuned. So King is in the bed. We're about to put him to sleep. So with King, his bedtime is around 12. He has sleep for like three hours. We try to make sure we give him a, a straight schedule, because if we don't, he'll, he'll literally be there for 24 hours and just fight his sleep the whole time. So we, we're, we're getting better at putting him on a schedule. Shout out to Avi, she's doing a great job at putting him on a consistent schedule. Hayson is, he kind of, he goes to sleep a lot, so he doesn't really have to be on a schedule, but what we're trying to do with Hayson is put him by himself so he won't be so attached to us where, to the point where if we try to come in the kitchen, he just cries. So that's something we're trying to do with him. So as a parent of two under two, we're learning a lot. And two kids, it's, it's crazy. And with the first one, you always learn a lot. So we, when you have the second one, it becomes easier. So what we did wrong with King was, we always was holding him. So that's why he's so attached to us now. He just, he can't stay in a room by himself. He wanna cry. Um, yeah, he just don't wanna be by himself, but we're trying to break him in. And it's kind of working. It's, it's a little progress, but we're gonna do that. Avi is gonna, she be with them more. So I want her to tell her side of how two under two is. And I know it's, it's a lot for her just being a stay at home mom and just being with two kids. I know it drives her crazy, but she's doing really great. And I see all the hard work she's doing. And you know, I just wanna be here, be here more. Like when I'm here, I make sure that I'm here because I was, a couple months ago just not really here just trying to get a new place um going through so much but now we shed it so much and we're healing from a lot of stuff and now it's time to be more present with the fam so that's a big accomplishment that we're getting past so yeah guys we're being a little honest and just not trying to seem like we're just perfect you know we go through our stuff we have two kids under two so it's, it's not like we just can get up and vlog and just do stuff like that, but we're trying, man. We're doing, we're doing great. You know, this is this is not easy, and we're doing a damn thing. You know, yeah, I'm just proud of us. But next thing we gotta do is we have to clean up. So one thing that I always do is I always try to make sure I clean up the house so that Ali don't have to touch anything. And it's not. I know you guys are thinking like, um, am I cleaning for her? No, I'm just a naturally. I just love to clean. Like it's like therapy for me. And I'm pretty sure you guys did not know, but the couch is gone. Time we had to let let go of the old energy to bring in new energy. So we're, we've been looking up couches. We've been trying to find a couch on Amazon. So that's coming soon. We'll show you the transformation of the living room. So guys, I want to share this little moment. I want to show you guys where King's hiding spot is. He literally stores everything down here. Like, look. Like, what the? Bruh.
looking good, smelling good. The energy is right. So right now I'm about to make some dinner. I'm about to start early since Avi is not here. What I want to do is I want to surprise Avi with some garbanzo beans with some rice. I got the rice, the rice is already made. We got half of the tofu. We got to make some more. So rice, garbanzo, some fried tofu with some salad. Without you, this household would not be running. Like, you make a big impact in this household. And I know sometimes as a mother, it's hard to see that. It's like you're just constantly just doing stuff. But I see everything. You know my Virgo self, I see everything. And it's going to pay off, man. Man, it's just, I want to do so much for you, and I will. Say so you guys can't get still up. But I want to do so much for you, man. You deserve the world. I wish I could just get the world and just give it to you. You deserve everything. Everything, and I mean that. But I love you so much. You're my twin flame. You're my partner for life. You're my, my queen, my future wife. No, fact, matter of fact, you're my wife now. You're already my wife. So blessed, guys. When I say I'm blessed, I am blessed. <laughs> so blessed, man. I wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't anything else. Say what you could. I made you some food. Ooh. Ooh. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Is this for us? Yes. You're so sweet. I am. I'm, I'm so lying. Blessed. I'm so blessed to have you. Oh. Guys, I just came home from running errands. It's really, really hot. I'm hungry. And then I come home to some home cooked food that looks and smells good. It smells amazing. And then a clean home. Like, what more can you ask for? <laughs> Thank you. All for you, baby. Thank you. I love you. Give me some kisses. What y'all talking about? Hey, guys. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Josie. Oh, what you making them noises for? Are you pooping? Are you pooping, Hazen? Pee pee. And pee pee? What? Good morning. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning. Good morning, Hazen. Good morning. And good morning to me. Good morning to me. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Hazen. Good grief. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look at my baby. <laughs> So I'm coming to, what is your restaurant called again? Avi's Kitchen. Avi's Kitchen? Is it vegan? Is it, what is it, meat? What is it? Avi's Vegan Kitchen. I like the menu today. Today we are having vegan lobster rolls. Mm. Yes. So we're making it out of heart of palm. So that's what we have right here. 
So I just squeezed a little bit of lemon juice onto it. And we're gonna create a lobster type flavor, okay? So I added a little bit of lemon juice to the lobster. We're basically trying to get this to taste like lobster. So we're gonna add some garlic seasoning. I add some Old Bay. This is gonna give it that seafood, seafood flavor. You can already kind of smell it. How's it smelling, baby? It smells delicious. It's smelling good. It's smelling good. So we're gonna get into that. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's looking like lobster, little thing. Woo! Isn't this how lobster tastes? I mean, look like. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to it as well. Oh, and can't forget the salt. So this is a vegan meal? Mm -hmm. Wow. What, you think we're going to eat some real lobster? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, chef it up I mean, then. I you should, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> okay, so, let me see. Mm. You want to try it? Yeah. Let me give you a little, a little taste, a little taste. Mmm. Delicioso. Delicioso. Mm -hmm. So we're going to let this sit in the fridge for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the, the sauce. So stay tuned. Babe, let me get a piece of that celery. I look good. Mm -hmm. Let me get a piece. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. There's some celery, King. Anyways, we went ahead and chopped everything up. I looked this recipe up on YouTube. We have different ways of making it. But we're going to use some mayo i don't know how much i measure it okay and then i went ahead and spill some stuff i'm gonna add some lemon juice to that because it tastes really good with lemon juice and then got a piece of lemon and seed in there no okay then we're gonna add some of the what are these celery so add some celery in there and some purple onions. That's how I was looking. And then we're gonna give it a nice stir. Cause this is gonna go inside of the lobster. I don't even know what to call that either. Cause it's not gonna be a lobster roll until we add this. But this is the sauce for the lobster roll. So yeah, I like a lot of, I like my um, sauce to have crunch to it. So I add a lot of celery. Plus, we all like celery, well, besides Jocelyn. Some lemon juice. Okay. You want to give this a try, babe? Mm, no, you could. You don't even know how it's supposed to taste, so. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Mmm. Okay, something's missing, but it's tasting good. I'm getting the concept. Mm. I think it helps to add some salt and some garlic and we'll put a little bit of Old Bay as well I don't know why I forgot the seasoning so that's good. how is it tasting baby? it's tasting good though I'm getting mm. the I get the point of it you mm. see what they were trying to do. But I had to add all you said time. you said I ate tried this before. I do not remember. I ain't gonna lie to you, babe. You have a really bad memory. I'm yeah, I do. That. I don't remember. I'll, I'm looking at it now. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. <laughs> Goodness, we'll just say that. Goodness. Okay. So we're gonna wait a few more minutes for the uh, other stuff to marinate the heart of palm or lobster. 
We're gonna wait for that to marinate and then we are going to add this on top, give it a stir and cook our rolls. So stay tuned, thank you. Y'all, I freaking forgot to add the seaweed. This is gonna give it that sea flavor. So I gotta go back in the fridge, pull this out. Yeah, nice booty. <laughs> I forgot to add the seaweed. Why didn't you remind me? Babe, I forgot. I forgot that you even made this before. I ain't gonna lie to you. So we gotta add the seaweed in there. We're just gonna like get the pieces, rip it up into small shreds. We, that gives it the fishy flavor. We need the taste of the sea, or it's not gonna be lobster. It'll be something else. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Woo, Rip a few pieces of this in here. Just very small pieces, I'm trying. Yeah. 